Colleagues, thank you for coming, and uh, we will start our working day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. And the topic is government communications reform, presentation of government comes competences and value. I give the floor to co-founder of Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, Natalia Popovich, also HR business leader in Ukraine, Eurasia, and Russia. Madlis International Oksana Semenyuk and Angelika Nazarenka, HR uh, Communication Reform Group. And I give the floor to Natalia first. Thank you, Valentin. And I would like to thank everyone in the center and those who gathered here. Uh, who wants to know about one of the, our main projects. And we are known by our press center, but Ukrainian Crisis Media Center also has communication activity from its start. And uh, at one moment, we understood that our effort as the center as, and as programs is not enough. And we, as uh, uh, representatives of civil society, we should communicate with uh, the world and also to um, establish dialogue at a proper level. And at, we, at the end of 2014, we see the need to um, provide knowledge and to, to uh, share experience with stakeholders and to provide information about our plans, results of activity. And at the end of 2014, we established uh, what, knowledge is, uh, what knowledge is needed and what skills are needed from our uh, experience in strategic communication for the public service. And several experts of uh, our center, they uh, dedicated themselves uh, to the projects that are supported by USAID, and it's one uh, one of the main uh, reforms is in the sphere of communication. And uh, um, we uh, try to influence positively on quality of communication and to uh, provide higher standards um, in the ministries that are uh, and the government, uh, administration of president, and other important governmental bodies that report on their activity informing Ukrainians about their decision and involving Ukrainians into the dialogue. The first phase included provision uh, to the state bodies uh, important analytical data, and, um, data that uh, is based on uh, values, and we wanted to analyze in what way the activity of uh, a governmental body uh, reflects uh, the important things concerning communication with society that are important for uh, Ukraine after Monday. Maidan, and it means that they should be European, transparent, and uh, uh, in the first phase of this project, we cooperated in order to create a group of uh, mass media and also to identify those advisors who now work in uh, the uh, 10 important uh, governmental institutions, starting from the ministries of finance and the administration of president and other important institutions. And during the last year, we conducted many trainings and uh, business trips to uh, for our uh, people to know about uh, communications. We visited the United States, European countries, and some of you took part in our conferences where experts in international communication shared their experience and also different colleagues from different departments they were uh, they gained experience and they were able to share this experience with others and our project is the a platform to share experience in Ukraine. And we also uh, 
published a guide and we decided that during our project we will introduce uh, some changes and during the first phase we renew this uh, version and there uh, there will be information on communication in the ministries and uh, we uh, from the start of our work we think that people should change systems and any system or law or procedure they are effective if people are effective uh, who res are responsible for the implementation of these laws and in ukraine from recent experience we see situations where even effective uh, structures uh, are not effective because uh, uh, some people are not responsible enough uh, and uh, they, they do not demonstrate bright examples of their behavior. And because of lack of these um, uh, deep-rooted values, these systems become ineffective and they harm society. And uh, sometimes uh, uh, they do not provide information on time or information is interpreted in an incorrect way or uh, the information becomes outdated. That's why we believe that every government uh, can gain confidence if they are able to build dialogue with society. And we believe that it's not enough just to inform people about the progress of reform. You cannot build trust on informing. Uh, governmental bodies, they should uh, know how to involve society into decision-making process. And in this project, uh, we had two main positions. Uh, and our mission, we wanted to uh, establish dialogue between governmental bodies and society and also to provide support for reforms and initiatives. And it gives a rise from the revolution of dignity uh, and uh, to develop this process in the future. And we try to enforce and build confidence uh, involving civil society in uh, a public service and also to provide the public proper information on governmental initiatives in clear and transparent words and uh, uh, to uh, provide our mission with all proper means we addressed many experts and uh, we tried to develop talents we um, um, uh, addressed Ms. Minuk, uh, uh, and uh, also uh, we developed talents in Ukraine and uh, also Ernst and Young Company, they have uh, uh, practices for management of talents uh, in order that they helped all the specialists and these are more than 40 people who are involved in our project from different ministries to create new, new basis on what we will build our project. And now the, um, the group of cooperation who consulted the, the uh, cabinet of ministers and the ministries, these are, uh, they are involved in creating values and competences. And I would like to give the floor to Oksana and Angelika Nazarenka and Ms. Siminyuk. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Natalia, for your introduction, your introductory speech. Uh, good afternoon. I am very glad to see those people who are interested to listen to the first outcomes of our activities. I would like to start uh, with... Uh, uh, the, the, with our mission, uh, why we would like to reform the system of state communications, of government communications, what we would like to obtain, what results we are expected, and we are inspired very much with our mission, uh, what uh, uh, activities have uh, we performed. Uh, we looked uh, in 
to uh, the sense how any organization can change fundamentals and pillars. Uh, so we looked into uh, HPO lessons learned and best practices, and uh, uh, we found the features uh, which uh, are inherent to HPOs. Uh, the first uh, element uh, is uh, structure, management, flexibility, strategy, uh, HR, uh, flexibility in approaches to any problems, uh, to addressing any problems and successful development for many years and uh, uh, using these international approaches, uh, uh, we see that uh, all sense uh, um, that uh, the management is based uh, on HR. Uh, this is an integrated system of talent management. Uh, nothing may start in any organization without uh, understanding uh, what skills and competences should uh, uh, human resources of this organization have. Uh, so we started with this, uh, uh, being inspired with the uh, international commercial and governmental uh, entities and uh, we have uh, determined uh, why uh, these uh, uh, organizations have been successful then we moved uh, to finding out how uh, we uh, success can be achieved. Uh, how we have done that? We uh, cooperated with uh, those uh, gender-based organizations uh, uh, which now consult our ministers and uh, um, deputy ministers uh, um, to communicate information about reforms in the country. So uh, we performed interviews, the range of inter interviews with the advisors and the heads of press offices at different ministries and agencies and key stakeholders, some deputy ministers, special uh, uh, people responsible for governmental communications. So we had a lot of interviews. Uh, and our principle was to engage as many people as it was possible. Uh, the uh, important stage was uh, uh, selecting best practices uh, from uh, other countries. Uh, we. Um, screened uh, and we looked into uh, the um, values which uh, uh, provided uh, many countries to achieve success, such countries as Israel, Canada, the USA. In terms of cons competences, we have studied those competences uh, very thoroughly, and uh, we um, conducted uh, both uh, uh, opinion polling. We are written questionnaires uh, and uh, um, also interviews. Uh, in order to get uh, the integ integral picture, uh, the comprehensive view of what is happening now in the governmental communications centers. Uh, uh, so um, our recommendations, uh, why, how, and what values, what competences uh, uh, should be used. We uh, offer the concept of performance uh, assessment. Uh, that is performance management, and uh, we continue to develop the system of criteria for performance assessments. I would like to say that we are 
we inspired very much with many examples of best practices uh, in the course of our discussions and as a result uh, of our discussions and debates with our uh, colleagues uh, uh, at the cabinet of ministers, we uh, came to a kind of uh, code of honor of uh, uh, for communications uh, officers uh, we believe uh, into the future of ukraine and uh, in our daily activities uh, uh, we are responsible to the uh, people of ukraine we um, put ambitious goals and uh, uh, we are professionals and uh, we are honest and fair and we would like to offer all these values uh, uh, for discussions with the um, top managers of uh, all uh, um, governmental agencies in all branches of power in Ukraine. The values, uh, they are usually um, demonstrated in behavioral indicators and they will be very uh, important important these indicators in future in building the system of values. The system of values will be translated into the uh, model of competences. Uh, values is what I believe in. The system of competences is what uh, I do. This is our behavior. This is our knowledge. Uh, that is why in the competence system was we also looked into the best practices in the governmental organizations and commercial companies in many countries and in all our approaches uh, in all uh, HPOs uh, uh, competences are developed uh, on the basis of key competences which uh, should be um, available uh, in all um, press officers. Uh, press officers also should master uh, general and managerial competences. Uh, much of the activities uh, means uh, uh, management of the uh, subordinates offices so uh, there are uh, such uh, competences and uh, you can see in the picture such a building with the pillars the fund uh, <coughs> the background uh, is based on the values, the pillars, our competencies, and uh, we also looked uh, into uh, uh, those uh, constraints, uh, the behavior which restrain development uh, of the communications uh, uh, bodies, uh, communications centers, and the communications offices. Uh, what restrain the development projects? Uh, the uh, uh, orientation to the process, uh, no uh, uh, compliance with ethical and values, uh, uh, and these uh, lacks of uh, competences can derail uh, the development. So now uh, we um, uh, propose the basis which concerns the whole integrated system, which starts with recruitment uh, of the right candidates on the positions uh, uh, based on the values. Uh, without this recruitment, uh, uh, high performing recruitment, uh, uh, the organization can be successful. So we would like from the very beginning to lay good foundation and then uh, to address all HR processes in governmental bodies uh, uh, to make our government
environmental bodies uh, highly efficient. Now, uh, thank you very much, and I would like to give the floor to my colleague uh, working at the Cabinet of Ministers in the parallel project because uh, we have been working uh, together in uh, reconciling the competences. Uh, thank you, Oksana. Before continuing our di dialogue, I would like to tell you several words about the team I represent and uh, a communication reform group that uh, deals with the issues to how to develop concepts and realization of reforms and the uh, communication of reforms that in initiated by the Ministry of uh, and, uh, inf uh, Communication. And uh, the concept uh, was adopted by the Cabinet of Ministers, and we develop roadmap. And uh, uh, in developing the roadmap, we first of all focused and gathered uh, and joined our efforts with the experts of Ukraine Crisis Media Center in order to organize single approach to requirements uh, to the specialists in the sphere. And uh, whether it will be presidential administration or uh, ministries or local government, this specialist should understand the requirements to the specialist, his knowledge, skills, and the standards. Also, what highs he should reach in his professionalism. And uh, a lot have been done, and I thank my colleagues for this joint effort. The important thing is that this is only one step on the road of change, and uh, this step should be implemented in a correct way in a system of state communications. And for this, we should work at the legislative level because the system of governance of state bodies differs from the system of business where we are accustomed to work. And not all those mechanisms and those levers and instruments that are used in business are effective in the state uh, sector. And uh, we uh, studied the peculiarities of the structure of communication divisions. And we also uh, um, are aware of the legislation that rules their work. And now the documents are developed uh, for, int uh, for introduction of uh, the law that uh, will be introduced uh, on the 1st of May this year. And I, our team is actively involved in the work of expert commission at uh, state uh, service where the documents are uh, discussed now. Uh, and uh, uh, the, these documents for admission and the uh, motivation of of employees and uh, all that is connected with the personnel. And I hope that I believe that these steps will allow us to introduce our um, uh, our uh, goals into practice. Thank you, Andrilika. We have several minutes for questions. And if you have questions or comments, please ask. Uh, please introduce yourself first. Irina Zhurba, Ukrainian, uh, Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Two questions, if you please. One to Oksana. You told us about the system of values about this house. And can uh, we reflect it on the whole uh, Institute of Government Service? And uh, maybe there should be some synergy with those people who implement those reforms of state service. And also a question to Angelica uh, told us about uh, reforms in the sphere of communication. And I understand what adopted document means. And I saw the protocol uh, of that day where this presentation was considered and whether there is a concept or not. 
we will answer in turn. Uh, so whether it can be spread to uh, the whole the system, right? Uh, this is true, and we saw that uh, in the examples of other uh, in in other countries, and we uh, looked at all um, effective practices, and in this, uh, for example, in Israel, Israel, Singapore. Uh, we also insp are inspired by the practices of the Baltic states, and uh, they implemented reforms, and uh, the answer is yes, this is a common approach. And uh, if we start something and it will spread to uh, agents of um, change, with the which Ukraine, Ukraine Crisis Media co uh, Center work, I think it can be uh, easily spread. And uh, we should start with the agents of uh, change here. And uh, many people uh, would like to join success. As to the adoption of this concept of uh, reforms of government communications, yes, uh, it is adopted and uh, uh, it is approved by the Cabinet of Ministers and now as specialists, our lawyers and the representatives of Secretariat of Cabinet of Ministers, they work on the roadmap. And the roadmap is the document that describes all the mechanism of the concept, not uh, only concept, but the, the implementation step by step, and what documents and uh, what steps will be taken first. Thank you. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, colleagues. Um, our conference can be continued in the lounge. So if you have some questions, please do. So thank you for the work you do, and we wish you success. And until uh, the next time, goodbye. I remind that our next